to use the Passmark Memory Test 86. This is the free version and any version are uh, pretty much the same function. Um, so this is going to be just a quick video review what you need to do to get going and arrive at this uh, result that you have on screen right now. This is the result of a um, test I ran on four modules and uh, as you can see there are no errors. This is what you want to see on your memory. If you test it and you get this result then your modules are okay. You don't need to uh, get a um, warranty claim or anything like that. You're good to go. I have more modules that I will test and uh, I will show you the test running and configuration that I use. This is a further test result display that uh, you can, as you can see, I'm happy with this test. There are absolutely no errors on all of them. And these each test, one, zero through 14, they will run four times. And none of them gave me any errors. Okay. So how would you set it up? First, you need to go to memtest86.com and choose the free version. You don't need the pro version. If you have work that requires you to deal with this kind of work very frequently and you determine that the pro version has the features you need well, it's recommended that you do get the pro version. But for our purpose, just to test some memory modules, we all, all we need is the free version. So this is the download screen. Remember, you, all you need is the free version for what we're doing. As you can see, it's about 11.6 megabytes. Then, you select open. This is a zip file. I've already pre-extracted it and all files included in this zip file are what you see here. Now, you will need a USB drive. So, you insert that in you will get need to format don't do anything like that yet that's the content in there and uh, now you're ready to run run image USB yes this is the content that's already in there. Select that drive, reformat, and hit reformat. All right, so now Okay, you need to restart this program. Reselect that drive. Now this drive is clear. Select right image to USB. Give me a beep. Right, this will take some time now. and it is complete do not reformat cancel X out close everything and 
now you can eject the flash drive and proceed with the memory test on the specific computer you're already on or on a test bench in my case I, I have a test bench so here's my test bench this is what I usually use to test equipment and this is what I'm going to use to test the memory I've already installed everything in here as you can see it's right there and any USB port is good enough that's it now with the help of a screwdriver we will contact the start pins it helps to have the power on on the power supply and everything's good All right, so we have a counter here. Before that, you move the mouse or touch the keyboard and it will stop or else it goes into the default test. So the first thing we would want to configure it, this is the systems info screen. And you have a few options here. You can go with the detailed RAM info. or you can go back. View memory usage, really there isn't much there. Just things that, you know, information for somebody who can use that information. ECC polling, there is none in this RAM, so it's disabled. All right, and this is it. You have a screenshot option with, by pressing F12 and the first test, the first option is the test selection. The default is 0 through 13, selected, test 14, not selected, you can select it. I recommend you select it. And you have uh, four passes. Four is a little too much for uh, normal tests. If you want to, you can run all four. It takes about three to four hours. Yes, it's a long test. I recommend one. And if you do have a problem that's very persistent, then you run four passes, okay? So that's, that's all for this option. Next is the address range. I choose to leave it at default. You can reset the limits in case you moved it or you can move the limits here and there. Next is the CPU selection. I recommend running parallel all CPUs. It's the fastest and really there is no other point um, not to unless you have a processor issue. Here you start this test and it's going to take you a long time. Um, be ready to wait or be busy with something else for at least three to four hours. All right, so next we have the RAM benchmark. Um, here you have a few options. You can play with a uh, block, read or write. You click on it and then you select with your arrows, read or write. You also have a test mode. 
one is memory speed per excess step size the other one is speed per block size and once you have that selected you have a different bit bit uh, width as an option and then you just uh, hit start and it will give you the test and so once you hit any key it will give you the result or hit enter go back we'll go into read this time keep the memory speed per block the same again and we go back we can change this the option let's say 32 bit and so these are the various different modes that uh, you can benchmark your RAM. And so that sums up uh, the benchmark portion of the memory test 86 software next on the menu is the settings option you have two selections language these are the options for language we will stay with English and resolution this resolution is good enough but we have the option of 1080 in case you prefer a higher resolution quite easy to do next on the menu it's the upgrade to the pro version here you don't select anything it just uh, gives you the options and uh, added features you have a QR code here that will help you navigate to downloading and upgrading to the pro version through other means usually on iPhone I've never used it so I can't give you any further details and finally we have the exit option do you want to exit memory test and reboot into our hard drive shut down the system or simply restart we will restart So this is the main screen you have a counter up there and if you don't do anything it will go straight into the default tests we will go into configuration and that sums up the review of memory test 86 version 11.2 now we will run a test on my other set of modules and I will show you how it's done. All right, so now I have explained everything I need to explain and reviewed all the options. Let's begin a test. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, gives you the option of one through four passes and what tests it's on right now test three the pass percentage the individual test percentage you have errors here and here you have information of what is being used in terms of cpu the rest are memory module information
and this will take now pretty long time. I'll show you what the end should look like. Arrive at this that you have on screen right